Hi everyone, hope you're well. It's uh, Sunday the 19th of May today um, and I'm actually in a really good mood for Sunday for once so that's good isn't it? Um, having been so moody for the last couple of weeks. Um, mind you, it's still, it's still early, it's still 9 o'clock so maybe I'll start getting moody later. Fingers crossed, I won't know. So um, today I went swimming this morning and that was, well I say that was fine, the people were fine for once but I'm feeling really achy at the moment and um, I think my bed might be slightly broken because um, it is creaking a lot. I think like one of the wooden struts is like slightly broken or something because it creaks like crazy when I move and um, and I keep on waking up with like a really bad kind of ache in my like shoulders and back and um, and like sort of like muscles around the middle of my body like I think it's your core I think you call it like just below the ribs but anyway I was like really achy and so I think that's sleeping funny and so um, and I still really achy in the pool for a long time as well so it wasn't too good so I just took it easy and just didn't swim as far as I usually do but that's all right anyway enough about my health complaints I'm obviously just getting old um what I've been doing all day today is um I've been researching more manufacturers and stuff for my dice game and um I still haven't gone back and tweaked more gameplay which is something I need to do but um the manufacturing can take a while and I'm, I think I'm pretty sure that the actual design of the dice isn't going to change. So I can kind of get the dice manufacturing palava underway possibly because I think I found some cheap ways of, um, you know, I was talking about Kickstarter starter and stuff, but because I only need six dice um, per game, I think there might I might have found some kind of, um, some good options for getting the dice manufactured in a kind of small batch that I can afford to get done and I can still sort of like I can get quotes and stuff anywhere and I can still look at maybe taking pre-orders and then um, and then knowing that they're worth making um, but yeah I might be able to get them done in small batches and I've had um, some cool ideas for um, the packaging and stuff especially if I'm just going to be selling it you know out of my house kind of thing rather than it going through shops I'm just going to be selling it on the internet I had I realized I can get like custom printed um pull string pouches bags and um and they'll look you know so it'll be like a cool little bag full of tokens and dice uh with a pull string that you can tie up and you know and I can just stick that in a jiffy bag and post it it doesn't have to be in like a display box and everything and the bag can have the logo of the game printed on it so you know what it is in case you have loads of bags lying around or something but um so that's that's quite cool because i found a very cost effective um way of getting a bunch of those made um which uh is basically china and um and you know possibly the same with the dice as well so but i am i'm currently um i've i'm waiting on quotes from a couple of uk companies as well for the actual dice because um uh, because they're there and it would be convenient to actually have them made in the uk so i don't need to worry about the shipping and everything and then you know having to wait too long for them to arrive and um what's the other thing yeah the tokens um i know exactly what i wanted and i found um a huge supplier of what I want for the tokens so and that's UK based as well so that's very straightforward and that's extremely cheap um, but <clears throat> I mean they're very good quality and very expensive and completely worth the price um, but anyway you know, they're just like little extras the dice is the main thing that's going to uh, it's going to cost money and then the rules should be able to fit on just like a kind of a playing card size piece of card or a folded bit of paper. And I'm thinking with the pouch thing, I might just get a load of, you know, kind of plasticky paper sheets printed with the rules on that will just be folded up in a bag. And then if it's kind of just on a bit of paper, it doesn't matter if it gets folded and creased and stuff in the bag. Um, 
So anyway, so I'm, I'm, as you can tell, I'm really excited <laughs> about kind of getting this project underway. And um, yeah, and I'm, I, th I still need to tweak the rules a bit, but I'm 99% positive that I'm not going to change the dice layout and symbols themselves. It's more about deciding exactly how many points you need to win and, and whether you're going for points or whether you're going for getting stealing your opponent's points so they're zero and whatever so but i'll mess about with that later however on that note because i'm i decided to really capitalize on still being excited and energetic about this project because that's probably not going to last forever because i think it's going to take a while at the moment it feels like really simple and straightforward but it's always a way with certain things and then you know the the complications are the bits that you don't expect and so when I get into complications I'm gonna it's gonna feel more like a job it's gonna feel more like hard work again um so at the moment I really want to capitalize on this energy so I've been like you know researching stuff all day and emailing companies and stuff and um and because of that I've delayed delayed my Minecraft show thing till tomorrow I think, because um, it's all ready to be recorded and to go, but it still takes like two hours to record and then edit and then upload and everything and tell everyone about it. So um, I think I'm, I have to delay that till tomorrow because because I'm being so productive on this um, this game project at the moment. And I think it's I actually think it's more important as well than just a single episode of my Minecraft thing because this this game could um you know could be a very significant could be a very big deal for me <laughs> that sounds like I don't want to overhype it so touch wood I don't want to jinx it but I think you know this you know this game is something I'm going to be really proud of when it's done because this is completely my thing you know so anyway I'll leave it there um but yeah it's really interesting kind of when you research something in real life because you come across all kinds of stuff and all kinds of ideas and things and stuff out there that you didn't even realize existed and um and options and things so it's all very exciting because it's all kind of real real life business stuff you know and ideas and things so um it's a lot of fun um but i'm probably rambling and a little bit crazy sounding right now so i'll leave it there for today and i've, I've also got my beard going on which doesn't make me look entirely sane either um so i'll probably shave this off in a minute so anyway i hope you're well and and you've had a good weekend and it was really sunny here as well i hope the weather's good where you are but it was really sunny here so i sat outside and read some uh song of ice and fire in the uh you know, outside in the yard. So that was nice as well. Um, yep, yeah, so that's all for today. Hope you're well. See you later. Bye.